Hey everyone, today we will continue to explore some of the similarities between quantitative finance and daily fantasy sports. In the last video, we introduced daily fantasy sports and went over analogous concepts between the two fields. In this video, we are going to emphasize some of those similarities by using some of Quantopian's quantitative finance tools to research a daily fantasy basketball strategy. At a high level, we will load in NBA basketball data to Quantopian's research environment, construct factors on top of that data, and analyze those factors with AlphaLens, which is Quantopian's tool designed for analyzing alpha factors. Let's get started. For those who aren't familiar with Quantopian, what you see on the screen right now is Quantopian's research environment. The research environment is a Jupyter Notebook environment that allows you to run blocks of Python code interactively. We'll be running these blocks of code, known as cells, for the rest of the video. If you want to learn more about research, there's a Quantopian research tutorial linked on screen and in the description below. The first step to almost any quantitative problem is getting data. In this case, I've already collected NBA statistics and game results, as well as fictional player salaries from DraftKings, a popular DFS company. To load this data into my notebook, I use the Quantopian built-in function localCSV to load my data as well as the open source Python library, Pandas, to format it. Here's what the formatted data looks like. This table has basic statistics for each player in each game in the 2017-2018 NBA regular season. To get a better idea of the information that is stored in this table, let's drill into one row. This row has statistics for Vince Carter in a game between Sacramento and Detroit on March 19, 2018. You can see that we have information like minutes played, shown as MIN, real points scored, shown as PTS, and fantasy points scored, shown as DK score. We also know that Vince Carter's fictional salary, or DK salary, was 3300 for this game. Now that we have our data, we are going to do a little more formatting and feed our data into AlphaLens. AlphaLens is Quantopian's tool for analyzing the predictiveness of alpha factors in quantitative finance. If you are unfamiliar with the term alpha factor, it is essentially a function that intends to predict future relative performance of stocks. If you want to learn more about alpha factors or alpha lens, see the link on screen and in the description below. In DFS, we can repurpose the term alpha factor to describe a function for predicting relative player performance in a game. As an example, this cell of code defines an alpha factor based on the mean fantasy score per game for each player over the last 20 games. If we print out the result of this factor, you can see that we have a single value per player representing their average fantasy points per game over the last 20 games. Now that we've built our factor, we can feed it into AlphaLens along with fantasy scores from each game. Normally, AlphaLens compares alpha factor values to stock returns to assess the predictiveness of a factor. In this case, I've modified AlphaLens slightly to compare alpha factor values to fantasy scores on any given night. The best part about AlphaLens is that these analyses are primarily visual, allowing us to quickly decide if our factor is predictive of player performance. In these cells, we pass our formatted NBA and DraftKings data to the get clean factor and forward returns function, which formats our data in a way that AlphaLens expects. Then, we pass the formatted data into the mean return by quantile function. Normally, this plot shows us the mean return of stocks, categorized by quantile of a financial factor. In this context, the plot divides our trailing fantasy score factor into five quantiles and shows us how players in each quantile performed. The plot displays a clear and intuitive trend, which is that players who have a higher average fantasy score over their last 20 games are more likely to score more fantasy points. Let's look at another plot. This plot uses the same data from AlphaLens, but instead plots the mean fantasy score per night for players in each quantile based on their trailing 20 game fantasy points average. Again, it's clear that having a higher fantasy point average over their last 20 games means a player is more likely to score highly on a given night. This suggests that we have a predictive alpha factor that we can use to construct a fantasy team. That's it for this video. We only really scratched the surface of AlphaLens, so be sure to check out the AlphaLens tutorial linked on screen and in the description below to learn more about what you can do with AlphaLens. In the next video, we will use our trailing 20 game fantasy points factor with Quantopian's portfolio optimization tools to construct an optimal DFS team. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Quantopian's YouTube channel to learn when we post new videos.